What is up, guys? It is your boy Phil Shocker, the 90s Stitch Chat Dog here. We have, um, you know what? I was going to debate doing these all in separate ones, but I played all three of these games at once. I'm going to do the same thing for you guys again. First off, for R RBL, I accidentally left the server because I didn't make playoffs because, spoiler alert, I lost. But it was a close 1-0. Close 1-0. But I forgot, and I would have done these matches separately, but I uh, forgot I del deleted the server, which meant I couldn't get the replay. So, yeah. So, sadly, we lost in RBL. Uh, we are not going to come back for next season, but if he maybe needs a sub or something like that, um, Potato can always hit me up if he really wants to. But yeah, we came really close though. It really came close. It really came close. It came down to the Umbreen Charizard, and he brought a Scarf Charizard, which ultimately won him the game, which is unfortunately upsetting. But you know what? We had fun. We used a really good team. I really wish I could have used some Mons, but we will definitely do these separate videos for team recaps though. So definitely be on the lookout for that. So. Let's go ahead and get into one of our battles, which was the G8 DL semifinals going against Lady K, the rematch. And you can see she brought another different team. Why does she keep doing this to me? She brought the same she brought the same four as last time, which really surprises me that we see Hatterene. After Hatterene really didn't do too much in the game, I really thought she would have sent that thing away, but she didn't. But this time she did bring Delmise, which I definitely was think was the right play. She still brought Barrascuta, which I don't understand. When you look at my team, guys, Dreadnought screams terror. But she just didn't go with Dreadnought. I didn't prep for um, Noivern this time. And it kind of came in the back. Came in. Came and did its work. And she did bring Escavalier, which I actually was a little surprised about. But she told me she was basically bringing the Trick Room team here. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and just play these battles out. Uh, so, I went with Thorny. I was debating on whether or not to go for the Body Press there. So, I go for the Leech Seed here, just on any off chance. I'm going to go into my Lapras. And it does suck I had to go to my Lapras here. But, I decided to just go for my G-Max, get my Aurora Veil up. And, she's actually going to reveal to have Trick Room. Then, she's actually going to reveal to have the Giga Drain. Trigger my Weakness Policy. I go for the Sub-Zero Slammer. Do a massive chunk to her. She's going to go into the S Cavalier. I probably should have gone for the Thunderbolt move or something like that, potentially. And then I could have just clicked Body Press here. But now I'm going to click Curse here. I'm going to click Curse again here. I'm going to go Body Press here. It is almost a 2 KO. She goes for the Metal Burst, which was Clutch right here. I decided to go for the Thunderbolt just to in case. But we do get paralyzed. And she gets paralyzed, which is very unfortunate. I go for the Body Press, threatening the Togi Mario coming in. Lapras. Lapras got its last kill. She's going to go ahead and... I think she should have just tried to go in for the kill, but I think she was just trying to make sure you turn to Fake on stuff that. So she's going to go into Hatterene. I'm going to go into Rover. I'm clicking Bolt Beak here. And that did a mid-roll right there. So I'm in a situation right now where if I pretty much get the max roll with Bolt Beak, I kill. If I get a pretty much max roll with Aerial Ace, I kill. I am short of that max roll, and she's actually going to kill my Roadrunner. Um, this was one play I definitely think I made a misplay on. I probably should have just went into my Aselgore and set up spikes and stuff like that, seeing as her Hadron was down to 47%. If I could have gotten some spikes up, I really would have weakened that then. And plus, I wasn't doing anything with a Scavalier. A Scavalier. A Scavalier. And this was another misplay I made right here. I clicked Bulk Up instead of clicking Knock Off. And... I should have clicked knockoff. I should have clicked knockoff. That would have been the safer play. In comes the bear scooter. I can go to my coffer Grigas here. And she clicks those kind of which I think maybe was the smart thing to go here. She goes Pelipper here as I'm going to go for the power whip here. And guys, get ready. Because I told you before, Thunderbolt guaranteed two KO'd Pelipper. And mid-roll does 65% low mount. So if I can get the roll in my favor, which is in my favor, I basically got had to get a low mid roll. I can kill this Pelipper with Thunderbolt. She's gonna go for the Hurricane. I don't get confused. She goes for the Thunderbolt. Crit may me or not matter, but we brought Thunderbolt Pelipper. You're all welcome. In comes the close combat here. I should have, should have clicked Shadow Ball here. That was another misplay I made right there. I should have clicked Shadow Ball knowing that she was going to be able to click Trick Room right there. I should have clicked Shadow Ball. If I had clicked Shadow Ball, 
I won the game. Essentially. I won the game. With Therathorn and Pharaoh. I would have won the game. And right there, that was a really big turn right there too. Because I may or may or not. And you're going to see right here, I'm basically declaring GG. Because there was nothing I could have done. I may would have made, lived that Max Flare, but it is what it is. But yeah, we lose this game now. Oh, it sucks. It really does suck, but you know, you got you just do what you got to do here. I'm just going to click this. She thankfully does not try to kill me here, and she does let me pick up the kill on her Hatterene. So sadly, guys, we lose this game 2-0 to Lady. GG's to you. You played fantastically. I wish you the best of luck in finals, and hopefully you win your first ever championship. You did really well, and I'm really proud. And the last battle we did was our RGBL semi-finals game versus card in the last rematch of the century. I couldn't face Drake, but in my opinion, I had Drake beat. I just made one misplay. So if I could beat card, which he brought the same team versus me, I would have officially beaten pretty much everyone I had in here. Here, I make a very cautious misplay. I should have clicked Wish. Because then what I do is I click Facade into Flare Blitz on this, on this turn. And I could have had my thing at full health as he brings in the Rotom Fan. I could have lived the Hex there and I could have killed it. I go Cryptic here. I click Thunderbolt here. And he... Now, if I'm actually very surprised at the play he makes here. He clicks Protect. In my honest opinion, I don't think clicking Protect was really the smarter play. I guess he maybe wanted to see if I was Choice Locked, maybe? But that's fine with me. Right here, I'm just going to click Thunderbolt here. And on the prediction of him wanting to click Wish here. Yes, I did give this thing a free switch in and stuff like that. But right here, I'm going to go for my Nasty Plot here. And right here, I decide, you know what? I'm just going to call for the G-Max here. He's actually going to go for the Strange Steam here. My latest policy pops up. And like I told you guys, one shot this thing. And comes is a, is a Age of Slash, which actually might have changed a little bit, potentially. But I go for the G-Max news. He is actually going to reveal her here. If I had put probably Sucker Punch over Light Screen, which in this sense it looks like it would have came in clutch, I probably would have won the game. Right there, that was a crucial miss. That was a crucial miss. And right there, I should have clicked Focus Blast. I should have just clicked Focus Blast. I go for the Focus Blast again, though, and I do get the damage. He's going to go for the Wish here. Um, I go into my Gudra, which I probably should not be on for my Gudra. I probably should have went into something else. He goes into the Jello Scent, and I make the misplay of clicking Shirk Room here. And here's where the game basically ends, guys. I'm spoiling it for you right now. We lose this game because he brought Belly Drum, Snorlax, and we didn't have will o -Wisp, We didn't have this. We didn't have that. And... We're going to lose the game. We didn't even get the burn. If we got in the burn, we would have had a chance to win this game. I don't know if Darkest Larry would have ignored. Wait. Oh, he heat crashed me. I thought he had Darkest Larry at again. But right here, I'm going to lose the game. The only way I can win this game is through Dragon from Draco Meteoring. But he heat crashes me. I got to click Draco Meteor. I'm locked into it. And he's going to win the game with this Umbreon, which I still don't understand. Why would you bring Umbreon when I have a bug type, a dark type, and a, like just so much offensive mons? I still don't get it, but in the end, it looks like it came back and he won with it. So, uh, it sucks. But you know what? I've... After what happened to me last night, and for those that will not know about it, I'm probably not going to talk about it unless I'm really ready for it. I took these losses to heart. Not, I'm not to heart. I took these losses by, you know, accepting it. Um, I accepted what I did wrong. I accepted that this matchup was... These matches were really close, really good matches. And... You know, it's just going to be what it is. We're not coming back for RBL. I don't know if I'm coming back for GADL, and I don't know if I'm coming back for RGBL. But that is going to be our three battles, guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Definitely when it comes to the teams, I'm going to give them their own separate team recap videos because they deserve their own time in the shine and everything like that. But thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you all for the support throughout these seasons. Until next time, guys, I am Phil Shocker, the Nice Hedgehog, and I'll see you all later in the next video. Till then, guys, peace.